Jim, a solutions and network specialist with Braden Business Systems, and today we'll be talking about setting up a Windows 11 computer to print to a Kyocera MFP. While we'll be focusing on Windows 11, Windows 10 works essentially the same way. One thing to be aware of, Windows will sometimes try to add the printer on its own. And while this may seem convenient, this may not be the best practice. Using a printer that Windows sets up can lead to reliability issues and maybe higher print costs as the way Windows sees the print. Say it is a color machine, the printer will be set up in color by default in most situations. So even if you have a black and white document, the job will still be processed as color, costing you color click charges for running what is called process black. I'm going to show you the best practice for installing the correct driver for your machine and locking your default settings down. Step one, make sure your computer is connected to the network. If you are on a wirelessly connected computer, you must make sure you are on the private Wi-Fi network. You will not be able to print from a guest or public network. If you're not certain which network you're connected to, reach out to someone in your company that will know this information. You will want to make note of what model your Kyocera machine is. In this example, we'll be using the Kyocera Task Alpha 3554 CI. To set up a Windows 11 computer to print to a Kyocera MFP, you will first need to download the correct driver. And this guide will show you how to get that driver and how to install the Kyocera MFP on your Windows 11 laptop or computer. Next, we'll need to get the driver. And you can get the driver by going to https colon forward slash forward slash www.kiaceradocumentsolutions.us and select the cookies and privacy preferences. Then select support and downloads and then download center. Click the drop down and find your model. And in this case, we'll be looking for the Task Alpha 3554 CI and make sure the drivers is highlighted. You'll then be taken to the downloads for this model. Scroll down and find the latest KX driver. For here, we see KX print driver version 8.4.1716. So this is the one we will select. Click the down arrow to download the file. You will see the pop-up box, then click accept and continue. The file will be downloaded, and once the file is downloaded, go to the folder where the download is saved, and you will see the file. Double-click the file. You will see the installer launch. Next, you will see, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click Yes. An agreement notice will pop up, and click Agree. Then click OK on the resource and energy saving pop-up. The Kyocera product library screen will open and here you will click Express Install. You will now see a listing of available printers. For this installation, we're going to select the Task Alpha 3554CI at IP address 10.250.56.100. We're going to uncheck Fonts and Status Monitor 5. Click the Install button at the bottom. The printer will now be installed. On the next screen, you will see that the printer installation has been finished. You will uncheck the Set Duplex as default and the Show Quick Print tab checkboxes. Once done, click the Finish button at the bottom. You will be back at the Product Library screen. Click the X in the upper right-hand corner, then click Yes on the screen that pops up asking if you want to close. Now to set the color defaults. Open printers and scanners on your Windows 11 computer and select the Kyocera printer you just installed. Click Printer Properties. The following screen will pop up. Click on Preferences. This screen will pop up showing you the current default settings for your Kyocera printer. If you want to set anything as your default options, this is where you will make the changes. As you can see, duplex is already set to off as we set that during the installation of the printer. If you had forgotten to set duplex to off during the installation, 
you can do that here. We're going to set the color, full color setting, to black. Note, never set the driver to default to full color. Doing so will cause all documents, whether they have color in them or not, to print in color mode. This method uses what is called process black, in which it will mix all the four colors to make black, in addition to using the black toner. This will result in your black and white documents being charged as color. Once you have the setting the way you want it, click the OK button at the bottom of the screen. Then click OK at the bottom of the Kyocera property screen. Your printer is now installed and you are ready to begin printing. If you are using a code to be able to use the machine, you will need to embed your code in the driver. Open printers and scanners, select the printer you just set up, select printer properties, select device settings, click administrator, click job accounting, enter the value in the use specific account ID, click OK, click OK, close the settings window. You should now be ready to print. A final note, and this is very important, often when Windows gets updates sent down from Microsoft, these updates will cause something to happen to your printers. What essentially happens is the update will remove your current printers and set them up in their Microsoft IPP driver and with the port called a WSD port. If you check printer properties and check the advanced tab and the ports tab, you will see something like this. While the machine still may be able to print, it is not the proper driver nor the proper network connection. This will cause problems with connectivity and may default you back to color as Windows will sense that the printer is a color machine. This is something that Microsoft does. It is not something Braden Business System does nor Kyocera. It is important that you are diligent in checking your printer after an update. If this happens, change the port back to what it needs to be by browsing the list and finding the IP address for the machine. And do the same for the printer driver. If you have any questions, you can reach out to Braden for further assistance. Thank you.